next we have one more method uh, sorry two more method the next method is very useful and can be used in actual practice also uh, because with the next method there is a polar method we can draw horizontal yeah so with the next method there is a polar method so polar method is most commonly used in actual practice because with the absolute method or relative method one can comfortably draw horizontal and vertical lines but in case if you talk about this inclined lines that can be done easily with the polar method at the same time the polar method can be used for or drawing horizontal and vertical line also okay so finally in actual practice we can go for the polar method now the question is what then why we learn absolute and this relative method just to get the idea about the coordinate system with the polar with the absolute and relative method we got some idea about the coordinate system na x direction y direction positive negative etc so sometime if you want you can use this absolute or polar method if you are dealing with only horizontal or vertical lines but the best option uh, to deal with the horizontal vertical plus incline means the required angle line the best option is going to be the polar method which i am going to show you now okay so on screen next you can write polar coordinate system or polar coordinate method for drawing the line and the syntax is here you can for polar for polar method the syntax is at the rate distance then this less than symbol represent for angle this less than in the keyboard you can find this uh, less than symbol uh, about this alt key Le this uh, less than angle for example if i want to draw a horizontal line in this direction left to right with the 10 mm distance so at the rate distance is 10 and angle is what from this origin in One this no no you see from this is origin point na from this if you move right side means we are following which uh, angle direction zero zero right yeah. right similarly if i want to draw the inclined line from here suppose this is say 30 degrees and again distance is 10 10 mm so at the rate 10 angle 30, 30. always this angle from this zero zero reference zero angle then i'll show you some drawing with this first let me draw the straight horizontal vertical lines then we'll deal with one incline option also so simple you see again i'm interested to draw a a rectangle or sorry a square with a 10 mm uh, dimensions so same l enter starting point is same l enter but specify first point first point you can click anywhere or else you can st start with the 10 comma 10 or 0 comma 0 as per your requirement or freely you can click anywhere i'm going to click anywhere but for the next point you see at the rate distance distance is 10 angle for angle use less than than 0 you'll get the horizontal straight line then if you want to go vertical line then at the rate 10 distance what will be the angle if you go up 0 uh, 90 na no? 90 is the angle uh, then left side if you want to draw the lead at the rate distance is 10 but angle is going to be you see uh, 180 from this point if you go right 0 up 90 here left 180 down 270 in between if you want to draw any angle that also can be done so once again so left side means at the rate uh, distance is done then angle is 180 right then c enter or at the rate 10 distance angle 270 right and press escape right so we can use angle distance with angle with the polar method now i'm interested to draw a line suppose the figure like this straight dimensions straight line say 5 mm then incline line suppose this angle is say 30 degrees this is say 10 mm then again i want to draw horizontal line with say 5 mm then line like this and so we have this 30 degrees what about this 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 line angle so you see from this we need to go for the complete like this hmm. so you see if you know this up to this line is 270 na i suppose this angle is 30 this reference angle 30 so 270 plus 30 so this when you want to draw this line 
the angle is going to be yeah, what? Minus 300 300 hmm. you see up to this line 270 and this is 30 na? so 270 plus 30 always from the from the zero reference okay I'll, I'll draw the I'll show you the same you see I'll enter first point somewhere here then at the rate distance is 5 angle is 0 right then at the rate distance is 10 angle is what 30 right then again again at the rate distance is 5 angle is what 0 now at the rate distance is what say 10 for example this line is 10 uh, this line is 10 dimension so at the rate 10 angle is what 300 right got it online yes, sir. so angle always with, ref with reference to zero okay and anti in anti-clockwise if you want to use clockwise you can set in the units in that case you can go use clockwise but by default anti-clockwise again state line then you can go with the different angles okay for example state line now i want line some something like this means 90 plus uh say 30 110 so at the rate say distance 10 angle 90 plus 90 plus 30 means 120 with the 120 angle so this line with the 120 angle okay so like like this you can draw as per the requirement it means with the polar polar coordinate system we can we can draw horizontal vertical and inclined lines okay clear online yes, sir. next we have one more option which is called direct distance method direct distance method is very easy if you want to deal with the horizontal vertical lines this method is very simple if you want to use angle inclined lines then polar is a good option but for horizontal vertical directly you can use direct distance method the fourth method direct distance method l enter specify the first point it can be 10 comma 10 or anywhere on the screen then ortho on in direct distance system make sure that ortho on by pressing f8 and as i said this direction method is is good for horizontal vertical line then simply give the direction put the distance direction in the right side and put the distance to 10 direction on the upside put the distance 10 direction on the left side give the direction with the cursor and put the distance with the keyboard and then see enter this is one easy method this is called direct distance method Okay, so this is about the line command with the different methods and the method what we learn is to understand the coordinate system also and this is the end of uh, this uh, line line command here's dimension you see this will completely do this exercise here the simple exercise you see already limit is set now you see anyhow the limit is zero and this is 10 so 10 by 7 so if you only can set the limit 10 by 7 but anyhow we have limit 10 by 10 so in the 10 by 10 i can usually deal with the 10 by 7 so l enter hmm. starting point you see starting point is what 2 comma 2 so 2 comma 2 is the starting point after that i'm interested to draw a line with what 2 plus 2 4 now this is totally 4 so if i draw with the absolute method then what will be my next point uh, starting is already 2 and now i want 4 so it's going to be 6, 6 comma 2. 2 right you see i use this absolute method after that for this drawing uh, vertical this line this uh, vertical line i'll use say polar method sorry uh, relative method so at the rate relative method is x comma y na? this become origin so x is what zero in this case and y is what y is four y is four directly hmm. now for this 2 mm line i'll use say polar method so at the rate distance is what distance is distance two is and the direction is uh, one, 180, 180, mm -hmm. right? Left side no, from the point left direction. Then what? Down. For down again, I'll use polar method at the rate. Distance is 2. What will be the angle? Will 270, be right? Yeah. 270, no, down. Then for this, I'll use direct distance method directly giving the, direct, giving the direction, putting the distance 2 directly and C enter, right? Mm -hmm. So I use all method in this. But there is no inclined line, but for horizontal line, I use the polar method, right? Clean online. Yes, and uh, you see, we have one more small exercise starting. So we will we'll complete this also in today to end this session. Put on the left side and the cat on the right side. First limit, you see 10 by 7. So I can use the same screen. Zoom all. Starting L enter starting point is what is online starting point is one comma one. Yes, L enter the screen is visible now on the right side. Yes, sir. So starting point is one comma one. 
after that you see directly 2 comma 2 is given Inc angle is not given so i can use this 2 comma 2 i'll get the required uh, incline line you can find out here if you know the next point with the required angle you can use next distance is given so i can use any any other method now so at the rate i'm using polar method at the rate 3 angle what 0 mm -hmm. right uh, next down down i can directly use direction method 1 then state i can use direct distance method say 2 now which method can can be used you see i am at this point polar, polar only no? because angle so at the rate distance is 2 how much is the angle given you see reference is given hmm. 135 so 180 minus 135 yeah, 45 sir yeah 45 so 180 is the total from the zero total is 180 minus 135 so 45 the angle is going to be 45 okay so from this point at the rate distance is sorry already written no? angle is 45 then after that i can use direct distance method how much three then this also i can use direct distance method to, to, to save the time one this also one or else you can use polar uh, relative method or any polar method also just then this also three direct distance method down for example at the rate how much is the distance 1.4 how much is the angle 270 right then again i'm using polar method at the rate 2.6 is the distance no, angle is what 180 no? i can go for directly c inter or as i can type 1 comma 1 because 1 comma 1 minus the starting point so 1 comma 1 skip right getting this online yes sir. done for this session in the next session we'll go for the other commands okay